Hello everyone, Cam Turner from Tinker Truck here. Wanted to take a moment to show you about our screen printing with children program. Uh, the normal screen printing process uses photochemicals and a long drying process and a, a development process. It's not really conducive to doing in a single session. Um, through the miracle of the internet and a bunch of excellent friends, we, uh, we've learned a great new way to do screen printing with children. It just takes a little bit of preparation, uh, but we can get it done in under an hour. Best part is you end up with a tool at the end that can be used to uh, screen more, more shirts, more pillowcases, more whatever you want at home. And uh, you learn a fabulous new process. Okay, so the first step is to find a canvas. Basically, we just need the nice wood frame out of this. Saves a bunch of time from making our own, although you could easily make your own as well. Uh, we're going to cut the canvas off of this and reuse it for something else in the future. And in the meantime, we are going to attach onto it some nice sheer fabric, something, uh, something with a nice tight hole. Um, not, not like sheer fabric for curtains because they have uh, little blemishes in them that shows through in your pattern. Um, uh, usually you can get this fairly cost effectively, especially if you're making a whole bunch. If you're only making one, um, it can be kind of expensive and add up to eight or ten bucks, uh, even if you're just making one. But the nice thing is we basically have a screen that we can reuse over and over again. And what we do is we take some sort of vinyl, in this case it's really high-end um, sign vinyl that you'd use to make a sign for your van or your car or the storefront or something like that. And we, um, we cut it out, plain and simple. We're making a gigantic sticker. We use scissors or box cutter knives. The kids can draw straight onto the paper side so that they're working in the positive. They don't have to think in the negative. They can do nice letters. They can do bubble letters. They can do anything like that. Um, and then we stick it onto the outside of the canvas. So as an example, I've cut one here. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Love you. Uh, here's one that I just did kind of quickly. Now you'll notice in the hole in the center, the center of the O is missing, but since it's a sticker and it's stuck to the outside of a canvas, we can put that back in later. It allows for a lot of really neat blemishes. And for the younger children, say five and six, uh, it's pretty easy for them to just take scissors to, to the vinyl and they don't even have to work with a frame box like I am here. They can just cut shapes out until their heart's content, stick them all on, and overlap them, and they end up with a nice screen. Um, so here's another screen. I'm going to apply this uh, sticker to it and I'll be back in a moment. So I've applied the Hi Mom sticker to the other canvas and shown you that. And here's another one that I did while I was prototyping this project. Uh, get excited and make things, one of our favorite sayings here at Tinker Truck. Uh, basically, it's exactly the same thing. We just added a little bit of tape to make sure that the uh, ink can't bleed underneath the frame and get in our way. It takes a long time to clean up. We waste a lot of material in terms of the ink. It's a lot easier to clean if we do this this way. Uh, we've used this one a bunch of times. We've made a whole bunch of shirts with this. Um, probably maybe 30, 35 shirts with this screen. Um, it's great. It's staying going. It's more than a year old and uh, no issues with it whatsoever. But the nice part is I could easily just strip this back off, wash it once, and uh, I'd end up with a brand new canvas that I can stick more, uh, more vinyl onto. So last step, I'm going to show you how we actually screen one of these designs.